In the opening scene, a middle-aged woman is seen in a poorly lit parking lot, appearing frightened as she anxiously surveys her surroundings. She receives a text message on her phone, causing her to grow even more nervous. She proceeds to hide her car keys within one of the rear tires before quickly leaving the area. Following this, we are introduced to our main character, Kenny, a 19-year-old young man leading a routine life. He resides with his mother and younger sister and works as a waiter in a restaurant. Kenny comes across as a compassionate and gentle person who enjoys assisting others at his workplace, earning the admiration of both colleagues and customers for his selflessness and kind nature. One day, Kenny returns home to discover that his laptop is missing. After investigating, he finds out that his sister has been using it. Enraged, he takes the laptop away from her and scolds her, suggesting that he may be hiding something illicit on it. In a desperate attempt to resolve a virus issue on his laptop, Kenny downloads anti-malware software from an illegal source. Once installed, the software successfully removes the virus. However, unbeknownst to him, the webcam is activated mysteriously, indicating that someone is watching him. Later that night, Kenny locks his room and begins a personal activity. While doing so, he receives an email from an unknown person who claims to have witnessed his previous online searches related to Overwatch. The email contains a shocking video of Kenny engaging in the activity. The unknown person has hacked Kenny's laptop and recorded him, leading to a blackmail email demanding his mobile number or else the compromising video will be released online. Fearful and cornered, Kenny has no choice but to comply. He soon receives a text instructing him to keep his location services on and his phone charged, with the sender hinting at Kenny's activation in the future. Kenny tries to offer money to the blackmailer, but the response is a stern, tell no one. Over the next few days, Kenny receives no messages, but he becomes increasingly withdrawn at home and in his workplace, contrasting with his former charming and energetic self. A week later, the blackmailer finally contacts Kenny, providing a location and an ultimatum to arrive there before noon. Failure to do so will result in the video's release. Terrified, Kenny rushes to the location on his bicycle. Upon arrival, he finds no one there, so he notifies the blackmailer. Shortly after, after, a man arrives on a scooter, hands Kenny a package, and takes a picture of him. Kenny learns that the man, Hector, is also being blackmailed. Hector and Kenny discuss their respective misdeeds, with Kenny revealing that he was recorded while watching explicit content online. The blackmailer has been threatening to release the video if he doesn't comply. Hector admits to engaging with an escort online while drunk, leading to his own blackmail situation. Both fear the consequences of their actions coming to light. They receive a message from the blackmailer, instructing them to deliver a package to a specific location, and the duo is given a set of disguises. As they drive to their destination, they discuss their fears and contemplate abandoning the mission. However, they realize that the stakes are too high. At the location, they find objects in the package, including a gun, leaving them deeply uneasy. The blackmailer then instructs them to dress up as Overwatch characters. Hector becomes the driver, while Kenny reluctantly agrees to proceed with the mission. Kenny, wearing sunglasses and a cap and carrying the gun, enters a bank, demanding money from the cashier, who complies without resistance. Kenny leaves the bank and escapes with Hector, successfully completing their task. They receive a text message from the blackmailer, indicating one final task. The blackmailer provides a location, and the duo discovers an isolated area with a forest in the distance. They receive further instructions, including the order to destroy the car and split up. Kenny is told to take a money bag and head into the forest with the promise that this will be their last mission. The duo parts ways, and as Kenny reaches the forest, he encounters a man. The man reveals that they are ordered to fight, with the winner receiving the money. Kenny is initially confused, and the blackmailer texts him to fight to the death. Kenny becomes terrified and points his gun at the man, but the gun turns out to be empty. In the ensuing struggle, the fight commences. Meanwhile, as Hector returns home, he receives a troll face picture from the blackmailer. He discovers that the blackmailer has revealed his affair to his wife, causing turmoil in his family. Other characters who were being blackmailed by the same individual also face the consequences of their secrets being exposed. The narrative returns to Kenny, who seems to have won the fight, though he is injured. He takes the money with him as he heads home. However, he receives the troll face on his phone, and when he answers a call from his mother, he learns that the blackmailer has disclosed that he has been engaging in illicit content related to children. Children. Shocked and 
Unable to respond to his mother's distraught questioning, Kenny is arrested by the police. In the final scene, police officers arrive as Radiohead's exit music plays, and they apprehend Kenny without any resistance or explanation. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you.